everyone and welcome to our second part regarding Mikhail Chigorin, one of the founders, maybe the founder of the Russian chess school. And one thing that I do not believe I've mentioned in the uh, beginning introduction is the yearly tournament that is uh, basically carrying his name, the Mikhail Chigorin Memorial. It was first played in actually 1909, a little bit after him passing away. He actually passed away not at a very old age, not at all, due to uh, an illness. Actually, uh, his last tournament, he was playing horribly and, and uh, you know, complained about uh, being not, not being well. And then he was diagnosed with some illness and passed away uh, shortly after it in 1908. So already a year after this one, after he passed away, they made a very strong tournament that was held in St. Petersburg, actually featuring our next two great ones, uh, Emmanuel Lasker, the world champion that beat Steinitz. That would be very logical since we are going to cover today the 1892 world championship where Steinitz barely, barely survived. And well, as I said, Chigorin could have quite easily, I think, could have been, uh, you know, the second world champion. Uh, definitely history would have been tiny different in chess world, but Emmanuel Asker did it. And the other one, Akiva Rubinstein, that, well, very interesting one. Both of those players are the huge winner, winners of the 1909 Chigorin uh, Memorial in St. Petersburg. The tournament then was played in Sochi for uh, quite many years after that and then moved back in 1993 to St. Petersburg and being held since then. It's quite a big festival and actually I believe this year it will be played uh, somewhere in August. So but they have a lot of events there and definitely quite a uh, and a great tribute for such a great chess players. By the way, players that have played and won the tournament, I mean, uh, just, uh, you know, through the years in different occasions. Uh, Botvinnik won it when it was in Moscow, Smyslov in Leningrad, uh, when it was held in Sochi. That was basically from 63 till 1990. Okay, great players such as, okay, Spassky, Kochnoi, so Tal, really great great tribute to this player that well had many of the world champions play in his tournament and actually won it okay 1892 was really the most important year for Chigorin he came as close to becoming world champion but well failed very very towards the end of it actually I believe he was leading plus one and then lost uh, three games out of uh, the last four or five, very close to that. Okay, no big surprise that the Evans Gambit, if I have to uh, rename it, it would definitely be the Berlin of a century and a quarter ago. Or, you know, this may be the King's Gambit. But one other game, this is game number one in their match, uh, go in Steinitz, to show his style. I will, you, I'll just say one general comment. There is a purpose, a reason why I do not analyze the games very deeply. It is because, okay, with all due respect and all the uh, great words I mention on those uh, chess giants, the level uh, century and a quarter ago was not that high. I mean, I believe that their level in some fields is far, far from Grandmaster, even far, far from international masters so no real point in analyzing it too deeply showing the ideas I care more okay apparently 